Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to Prey. Uh, this game has been um, recommended to me by Michel Recourt, I think his name was, in the comment section of my uh, video to ask what we're gonna do after Thronebreaker, which eventually was Borderlands 2. But he suggested Prey as maybe a way to. Um, well, get off Sekiro, which is uh, what this game is replacing at the Wednesday slot. Um, and we're gonna try it. I have no idea what to expect. I know a little bit about it. I know it's something that's been compared to Bioshock. But as regards to the story and stuff like that, I really have no idea what to expect. So I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this. Uh, just before we head in, I usually try to be as thorough as possible. I will be reading uh, logs if we find any. We will be listening to every audio log. The story is really important to me and I want to, well, be as thorough as possible. If you're new to the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below how you found this video, this series. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope you guys are ready for this. I am. Let's dive into Prey. So, I'm gonna start with a new game, obviously. And then the difficulty. There is a nightmare difficulty. Um, nothing can save you. You know what? I usually go for the second the highest difficulty, so we'll go to hard. Survival mode options. Optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. We'll wait with that because I have no idea what this game is. So, weapon degradation, traumas, and oxygen, probably. Uh, we'll not do this. So, I think those things were added after uh the moonfall expansion or something like that i think it's called something like that but hard it is here we go okay those are two people and i'm assuming i can choose oh okay so either a male character or a female character and he or she is called you you know what i'll go with the female character i, of I often go for a female character so oh, what the hell was that her eye was doing something weird there. Her eye was going all red, but let's select her. So miss you. Now entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. So definitely set in the future, but kind of could guess that already. I think we're in some sort of space station. But as I said, I know very little about this game. So uh, let's just skip the loading time. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. March 15, 2032. Morgan Yu. And there's music already. Hopefully that's not copyrighted. Otherwise I'm gonna be off to a great start. So this is the second game we're playing that was made by Arcane Studios. We did a very speedy run through of uh, Dishonored 2. Hey, Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. They sent a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. Okay, you soon. so Alex, oh, you is probably listen, our father. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay. First day on the job, new objective. Okay, I'm just gonna swap out the controls. There we go. I like to play inverted, so uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. So, we're definitely not on a space station yet. The door is jammed. Okay. Okay, okay. Just gonna take a look around. Principles of neuroscience. The brain was once considered too warm, wet and noisy for seemingly del delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant, photosynthesis, avian navigation and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. That is really, really interesting. Um, there's multiple books here, but I'm not going to read all of them. Books I'm going to usually stay away from. It's more the notes that I want to check out, because uh, these things are probably going to be too heavy for us for now. Um, yeah, some meta-analysis. And it's just just a, a way of getting... Oh, what's this? Ah, okay. I can pick up items and throw it. I'm really rage quitting this game. Throw it at the television. There we go. Um, what's this? An account of Fermi's question. Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Okay, we're not going to read that because that seems more like more of a book. I don't want to make this too interesting. So this is 
this is well the start of a lot of these games just start in your apartment like deus ex starts this way as well and there's a few introductory items to get you uh, uh going use plastic tubing okay so we're already gathering materials of some sort Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Don't really need that. Braid wire sounds like something we can use. I can't use that, and I can climb stuff. I can pick all that up. Hands-on electronics. Okay, by working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. Okay, seems like not something we need. Wait, enter password. F paradox? Question mark. Okay. I have three emails. Oh, this is cool. Hello Morgan, so glad you to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. From Thomas Stucker and your father. Our father is actually NCC. That's interesting. Oh, that's the jump button. That's definitely the jump button. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day, uniform transcribe and a neuro mold. Install the neuro mold right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions, I'll be in touch, Alex. So he has the same name, but I feel like he might not be our father. Yeah, it's brother. Alex is her brother. Okay. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they sent their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both the children are going to be outside a gravi gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go, that's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very soon. Oh, very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. So Alex is a brother, not her father. He's our brother. Morgan, is there you gonna open this door? That made a really creepy noise for some reason. Uh, so there's pictures, pictures. Oh, that's a box. Can I take the pictures? No, I can't. I wanted to check out the pictures, but apparently I cannot do that. Where's this neuro mold he was talking about? Let's get, let's get the uniform. Okay, your trans star uniform looks uh, cozy. Ooh, nice gloves. Almost, I almost thought she was gonna snap her fingers there, so that's the door as well. So I can take, aha, uh -huh, there we go, more stuff. Neuromold application instructions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling or redness of the eye shortly after. Okay, so that's what we saw in the mirror. Remove Neuromold from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. The press orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromold against eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromold and provided biohazard bag. Okay. So we must have already equipped that. There's a few other things here. Uh, I can take the wine. Kings and Way sparkling wine. And then a note. Congrats Morgan from Alex. Okay. Nothing of interest in the bathroom, so let's just head to the helicopter. Uh, oh, somebody's working here. Morning, miss you. Hello. Are there subtitles in this game? There we go. It was set to uh, uh, main dialogue and not all dialogues. So that's look. Can I talk to you? Patricia Varma. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Y yes, it must must be. Th thank you, Patricia. I'll, I'll see you. See you later. X to jump and L3 to sprint. So that seems pretty normal. And circle to crouch. Okay. Why is that white bar? Oh, so I have a stamina bar. That's interesting. Uh, roof. Ooh, I love I love the way the menus are interactable. We're very high in a building. Oh, there we go. Roof access. This is probably locked. Okay. Open that. And a helicopter. Awesome. That seems dangerous. That seems dangerous. Let's board the helicopter. And there's fancy music going on. And we're heading towards... I don't know where we're heading to. Probably the research station make something. Yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Okay. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Oh, look at that. 78 degrees. 
Clear skies all the way. The start credits are on the buildings. Anything on the other side? I'm gonna miss stuff. Definitely gonna miss stuff. Is it supposed to say Arcane Studios as well, probably? And that was just the publisher, Bethesda. Hasn't been. Uh... Oh, look at that! That's Arcane nice Studios production. The bay there. there we go. Look at that. Yeah, Bethesda hasn't been uh, in the news very well lately. Some bad PR, some bad games as well. But uh, I mean, they haven't developed this. They just published it. And Arcane is usually pretty good on what they deliver. Because I'm a fan of the Dishonored games. And I'm probably going to be a fan of this as well. So that's Trans... Transstar, was it? Transstar, I think. That's a logo that was on the... Look at that, Prey! Even the building know what, knows what the game is called. Just going to put that right in the middle of my screen, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. Bye. Bye, Piper. Oh, I know, it's a helicopter, it's not an elevator. You. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Mind the glass on the way out. What? The window, you mean? That feels like I can kill myself on that. I'm not gonna do that. So, let's go down. Transtar. There we go. I was right. What is that? The science operator. This seems like a, a floating... Computer. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Uh, okay. I, I thought you were going to tell me more than it that. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Ah, Talos 1 is probably the, the station then, I suppose. I'm just going to take a look around, but... Welcome, Morgan Yu. Yes. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, confirm. That, that's weird that the elevator knows why I'm here, even. But, uh, yeah, I'd love that in real life. Morgan, finally. There we go. Testing facility. First day on the job. There we go. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Can I, can I have a chat with you? Or is dialogue going to start? Hello? Hello? Okay. Hey. Oh, Jesus. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Seems like nothing will go wrong then. Can I open this up? No. Can go into the security office and that's the same magazine we saw before. So, testing rooms. Oh. Well, that... That's not comforting, is it? There's scratches on the door. And um, why the hell was that the only door in that room? How do you even get there then? Or do you always need to go through the testing room to get... Good morning, oh. Morgan. Hello. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hello. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Uh, I am? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah, wabba. Ah, wabba. And that's not a circle. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Wait, that sounded really patronizing. Um, okay. Hello, Dr. Bellamy. And the two stooges. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Wait, what? Start? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay. 
need to hide in this room. Is there anything to hide? Uh, behind behind the stairs. Oh, look, is she? She's hiding behind hmm. the chair. Any synaptic register at all? No. No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. That must have looked really ridiculous. But, I mean, it's the only object in the room. What did she expect? Because if I'm standing here, you can see me. So it's the only object in the room. Okay. These are some weird tests, man. Um, All need... right. There we go. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Are you seem? What? How? Which other way would there be than to just press the button, run over it, and press that button? I'm sorry. Can someone please explain to me what's happening, Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina put down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. What? The... I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. What? What the hell is going on? How, how could that have been weird to you? Okay. So now there's a chair. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, there's, Morgan. There's already a have cup. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Okay, hi. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. And huh? I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. I don't trust you, Dr. Bellamy. You're making me do weird tests and your responses are really, really weird. But, start. Huh. What the fuck was that? You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you Whenever love you're ready, Morgan. or try something new. Um, I like familiar. There we go. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. The hang of what? Pressing a button? You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um, I don't know what will happen. Angry? Uh, angry. Yes, angry. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Okay. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Well, obviously switch tracks. There we go. Switch tracks. Good. Next. One person is better than five. Well, one a bit less bad but yeah a runaway train is bearing down on five people you're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man pushing him into the track would stop the train what the f uh no I, i'm not gonna kill a man to just an enormously fat not a man couldn't be that big to stop a fucking train no do nothing almost done See, I got angry there because it's not my fault that I was sentenced to death. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. Stop, stop tying people to the train tracks. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Push the fat man. <laughs> uh, um, well, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to stop the train by jumping on the track. So do nothing again. Interesting. Sylvain, well by the way. His name well is Sylvain. Done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. What the fuck was the that? I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee. It's empty. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, why, why am I being ga gassed? 
Okay. So the spider thing became a cup. Then sucked the life out of the man. And I got poison gassed. It's Kustik nice. from Apex Legends hey, here. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. What is going on? I missed the name of the second person there, but... Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Um... Wait. What? Uh, okay. It's the same day. Oh, this is some Groundhog Day shit. Live, die, repeat and all that. Um, I'm gonna get a call, probably. I think nothing matters. I don't think this is real. And I'm not even getting the call this time. The closet is closed. I could take all that again, but I don't feel like that it's gonna matter much. So, now I have six emails. Danger, leave now. From January. EOM, EOM, EOM. End of message. Yeah, okay. Okay. The music doesn't like what happened. I think this... Wait, the, the seat was over here before, right? There was something over here. And the bottle moved. Because the bottle was definitely here last time. I'm gonna take it again. And then check the cabinets. Yes, I'm really happy about that. I don't know what, if I should even take all that. So that's the same. But the note is also gone. And I'll probably just use the suit again. Okay. Okay, okay. I didn't expect this. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Is that the sound of the helicopter coming down? I feel like they are... Uh, the Alpha and the Omega. On the painting, never noticed that before. Oh! For, um, thanks for that, that. So Patricia's dead. Patricia's dead. And I think uh, the fish is still alive, that's good. Um... Oh, oh, yeah, she's also been drained. And this is not the normal hallway anymore. <clears throat> okay. Patricia Varma. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Um... Can I open? Oh, the swinging also takes. I'm just gonna close this. Um. Um. Can I smash? Oh, what the? Oh. The the fish isn't real. Okay. I'm out. I think. I'm out. Okay. Simulation lab. Oh. Interesting. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. So wait. We just woke up in a simulation of our apartment. So the first thing was real then? We just got the details wrong. I love how there's a lot of wine here. Probably just to replace the wine that was there. Okay. I also got a health bar now. Do not open door while simulation is in progress. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't trust because I saw that thing transform into a coffee cup. If that's going to happen again, I'm... Um, why did my flashlight turn off? Did I turn that off? I'm going to turn that off because there's weird noises coming from over here. It's an exit sign. You officially got me on edge. There we go. There we go. 
and low wrench. The fastest heavy, heavy twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use R2 to swing a wrench. Press and hold R2 to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will stain, drain your stamina. Why did you just show me that? Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not enter correct with subject or script. Always reset stuff. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to be clear to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Wow. Okay, so it's projecting the outside on the window there. Uh, whatever that may be. Simulation debriefing. Ooh, am, I, am I glad that I checked this first? There's a coffee cup. Um, sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks, transcribe on computer, various tasks, takes shower, puts on the uniform, makes its apartment. That's another coffee cup. There we go. Is this also another coffee cup? There we go, just smash all the coffee cups. I do not trust those things. Oh. Uh, utilities. Ooh. Refer to test run program for timing of audio events. Wake up call, helicopter arrival, pigeon test. Oh, funny. You funny people. Daily test from Sylvain Bellamy to Evelyn McCarthy. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. And the original email was Dr. Bellamy at this point Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage will likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. And then note about this morning all I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Um... Station-wide, so we're in the station already. Uh, okay. Look, the Bellamy is in critical condition, but alive. I don't believe that. He looks pretty, pretty bad. And those are... Oh, those are the test rooms. Let's check that out. I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump at a certain point. Taking all of these things. There we go. Nothing else here, but I'm assuming I will be able to do something with those materials. What the hell is this? The safe code is... Wiped out. And then a question mark. Nah, okay, nothing here then. Note. Deliver to Marco Simmons. Marking this entire SKU as defective. So that's a software package. And that's the code. Debriefing safe. The safe code is... Can I flip this thing? No. Not able to check this. Hmm. Interesting. Computer cards. And then this chair looking thingy. Um, no password found. Uh, okay. They just wrote the password. LCOP0876. Marco Simmons' password. More emails. Reminder about company password policy. This is a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy password uh, handbook. Yeah, okay, yeah. Don't share your information. That's the same note. And bad install. Simmons, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuro mods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. So this is Marco Simmons' terminal. And he has a safe, but, wait, what the fuck? Okay, it's that icon just popping up, the jumping icon. Uh, and I can't check out the code just yet. 
What is this camera is following me? And a diploma for Marco Simmons, Simmons, Masters in Computer Science. Okay. Okay, let's get out again. Uh, I'm going to be really nervous about copied objects, am I? Oh. So I'm guessing this does absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is absolutely nothing. So it's supposed to fake the elevator ride and then you go out here and this is a completely simulated room with those projector thingies. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Just gonna turn off the flashlight again. Hello? There's nobody here. Could probably go in there, but this is a really cool way to start off a game. Oh god, didn't expect to just smash that. What the fuck is going on? I hear weird noises. I'm gonna whack boxes. I know I have stamina. But I'm gonna whack those boxes. What's this? Explosive canister. Okay, boom. I probably can use that by throwing that at somebody. Ah, the window is projectory, so that's why it's making that noise. What's going on? I think this door is freaking out. Okay. Well, that's definitely loud. Jesus Christ. Okay. So this is where we so-called enter the facility. Computer is showing a blue screen. That's not good. A med kit. The quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers for easy access. Okay, I'm, I don't know what how to do that just yet, so I'm just gonna press OK. Okay. Okay. Let's stop the loud noises. Okay. There's two utilities and one email. Let's check the email first. That's the same note again, which makes sense. So this is Dimitri Bowser. That was actually his name. Scene selection. Uh, inside the elevator, you're doing maintenance operations between tests. Okay, and test management. We set the test rooms to current configuration. Test rooms affected ABC. Probably should check that in a second. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh god. Okay. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Thanks for the trauma. Am I glad I didn't reset that room? Because I, I mean... What happens if I reset the room? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Reset. A, B and C would be affected. Uh, doesn't seem like they are actually affected. So we transformed into that chair. You can't even stand up. That is fucking creepy. Do I need to kill that thing? Because, uh, I mean, it killed Dr. Bellamy in one go. Oh! It's getting out! It's getting out. It's definitely getting out. Oh, wow. That actually works from far away. Oh, whoa, what the fuck just happened? Necropsy required. Mimic tumor. Smack it. Okay. And that's the rest of the corpse. That camera is still looking at me. Okay, so mimics need three hits. Glad we uh, got that figured out. I hate that there's two of each item. About this morning, Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. 
nor do we, granted. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same test set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself. Bellamy. Okay. To Zhao Long Hang. This is really, really creepy. Oh. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Okay, so that's what we heard before. When we were actually on the floor down there. And they brought us out. So that explains pretty much the entire sequence we just went through. But this door seems to be forced open by something. So I'm guessing that Mimic, the original Mimic, still lives. So... Control room over there or decontamination? I would assume I'm contaminated. Oh god, yeah. Definitely saw that. Definitely saw that turn into that. Can I just approach and whack it? There we go. Okay, so if I'm quick enough, I can actually kill the Mimic. Let's take that organ. Change it to computer card. And... Greet Mickelson was also horribly... What the hell happened to her corpse? I think she kind of melted in front of my eyes. Okay, so... Still a cup here, but... Oh, there's multiple cups! Did I kill it? I killed it, okay. Okay, I'm exhausted because I whack too much. Uh, there we go, got that back. So just saw there were two coffee cups underneath the table. That was something. Was that moving? Are usable items also able to be copied? Because otherwise I'm going to completely freak out. Um, reset the simulation while we're going. Um, for technical issues, contact Dr. Lorenzo Call Vino or Miyu Okabi. And the power. Looking glass on. Oh. Interesting. And I broke one window, so. Yeah, over there. That's not gonna work anymore. Sorry about that. Let's turn that off again. Uh, hello? Okay. Are they gonna gas me again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Sorry, Jovan. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. No, 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 no. So one of them... Went to the right. Probably must have jumped over, but yeah, there's a double pair of... No. No. Psy Hypo and Medkit. Okay, there's a lot of... There's always two, two shoes. Don't need to freak out about that. There's always two shoes. But I'm definitely gonna freak out. Okay. No. Stupid chair. Maybe a second box. No. Maybe this is. No. I don't trust the chair. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Gonna have to calm down. Everything can be an enemy. This is a problem. Um, I noted about this morning, we saw that. Next week's test, Jovan will need... Oh, Jovan died, sorry. We'll need the room updated to the new test plan. And then Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. 
Ah, Bellamy has taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. Get to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin of his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Marco Simmons. So Simmons is probably still alive. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the keycard or finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Okay. Thank you, game. There's two cups again. And two... Oh, multiple chairs. Do we get a hint of what is what? I think the cups are probably that again. Nope. Is the mug... Oh! Oh, what, 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 what? That took 35 of my 100 health. And I know there's another one, probably. He hit me! Oh god, how do I use items? Um, quick select is... Can I... Oh, menu. Split? No. Uh, use, I suppose? Oh wow, that barely does anything. He stores 24 points of health. Well, the apple probably does a bit. So there we go. We're back at almost 100. Great. This is just great. So I got ambushed. And there were four of those, so... I'm just gonna... Hit everything. Stand-up notes. Reorder tests, solution observation, flammability tests cancelled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test next time. Okay. Don't see any duplicates over here, so... Should be pretty okay. Unless, of course... So there's the key card. Uh, and there's another screen here, so probably with another email. Personality drift results. Dr. Bellamy, they, here are the results from today's personality tests. I'm seeing some drift over the last few tri trials compared to the previous results. So that's the questionnaire we took. Yeah, okay. So daily tests. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get blah, 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 blah. Because this is Bellamy's office, okay. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention to Alex the next director's meeting. Matthias Cole. I mean, it's written like that here and like that there, so the H is on the wrong position somewhere. Okay. Um, I think, with the key in hand... I'm gonna end this episode here. So these are gonna be shorter episodes than the Sekiro episodes, but we'll get through this rather smoothly, I think, for now. Uh, we haven't been... Oh god, yeah, that's the... There we go. Surprise attack on a mimicked object. Gotcha, buddy. So they make a clicking noise. But I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Prey. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we'll uh, continue through that door, probably. Unless I want to open up that hatch, I could do that as well. But we'll see that in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.